So, let's go into a little bit more detail of why the moisture content of the wood that you burn is so important. The main concept is that wood contains water. It was once a living thing, so it has a moisture content, and that moisture content means that it has water in it. As far as I know, and as far as most people know, water doesn't burn well. If you were to take water and mix it with gasoline and put it in your car, your car would have trouble. And and uh, the main point about water, since it can't be, be burned, is that the water in the wood must be converted to steam. And that energy that is used to convert that water to steam does not get recovered into usable heat that can, you, you can use to heat your building or your heating load, no matter what wood unit you're using. And a simple way to figure out how many pounds of water, just for illustration purposes, are in 100 pounds of wood, here's a simple formula. It's not as direct as saying 50% moisture content means if you have 1,000 pounds of wood that 500 pounds are water. It's a little more complicated, but it boils down to this. Let's run through a few numbers. So I'll go through a few moisture contents here, and then pounds of water per 100 pounds of wood. So if I have 20% moisture content, 20 divided by 2 is 10, plus 8 is 18. That's 18 pounds of water per 100 pounds of wood. That means 18 pounds of that 100 pounds is water. That's about 2 gallons. If I have 40%, 40 divided by 2 is 20, plus 8, that's 28. That's about three gallons. If I have 60% wood, which is basically a live tree, then I have 60 divided by 2 is 30 plus 8 is 38. And that's just about four and a half gallons. What that means is if you have 60% moisture content load of wood, like this wood pile here, then 38 pounds of that 100 pounds is purely water. And all that water has to be converted to steam, and that energy does not get recovered. So let me show you illustratively. If you have properly seasoned wood, then you're using about this much of a wood pile. This much energy of the wood pile is converting the properly seasoned wood, that water, into steam. If you're burning wet wood, then you're using this much of the pile. And this is the amount of wood that's used to remove moisture. And note that it's much more than the seasoned wood. In addition, let's take a look at what happens to the energy content of the wood. What happens is the amount of, avail of available energy per pound of fuel, so per pound that you're loading into your unit, varies with the moisture content. Perfectly dry wood at 0% moisture content has 8600 BTUs per pound of wood that you load. At 10%, that number changes to lowers to 7,800. At 20%, it's 7,200. At 30%, it's 6,600. And then at the higher percent, it's 5,400 pounds. So if if you're perfectly dry, you're going to get 8,600 BTUs per pound of wood that you load into the unit. If you're live, if you're using green wood, you're going to get 5,400 pounds. 5,400 BTUs per pound that you load into your unit. So the takeaway is, the higher the moisture content, the more wood you will load to meet your heating demand. So one question you might ask is, well, why don't I try and get my wood perfectly dry? Well, to achieve 0% moisture content is very difficult. And the wood will not burn properly at 0% moisture content. You need some moisture for your wood to really burn well. It burns too quickly at 0% moisture content versus being properly seasoned. 
in this range. So the problem is that you're going to have, if you burn wet wood, is because of all that moisture, you're going to have a higher creosote potential in your unit. Your unit's going to burn dirtier because it's not going to burn at the right burn rate because there's too much water and too much of the energy has to go and convert that water into steam. And the more wood you're going to physically have to load to meet the demand, to meet your heating demand. Let me go through a quick example and just show you how much more wood you'd have to load to meet your heating demand. So, for example, if I have a load of 100,000 BTUs per hour, and I assume I have a 70% efficient wood unit. That means that for a typical Alaska winter, we'll use the example of Alaska here. Where I have a long, this 100,000 BTU an hour load is going to be around for a good chunk of the year. At 20% moisture content, I'm going to use about 17 cords of wood. At 30% moisture content, I'm going to use about 19. If we skip to the higher loads and 50% and 60% moisture content, I'm going to use 22 cords and 23 cords. So to go from here to here, that's going to take an extra 15% in the amount of wood that I have to burn. To go from here to here in moisture content, I'm going to have to increase how much wood I burn by 22%. I have to burn almost a quarter more wood if I burn 60% wood versus 30% moisture content wood. So, seasoned wood is best, but you can't go too low. One last thing I'll say here is that um, the higher the moisture content, the lower the burn rate. The lower the moisture content, the higher the burn rate. But experience has shown that wood likes to be burned. Wood burns most efficiently. at 20 to 30 percent moisture content and typically that means if you cut a live tree down it's split covered and then left to season a minimum one to two years okay so what's the main takeaway from this? It's that it's not good to be too wet or too dry. 20 to 30% is best. But if you have a choice it's best to be on the dry side. Less labor less wood, 
clean.